name is Sam Hashemi, and I am the CEO of Remix. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my background, how we got to where we are today, and how we're working with over 200 cities to redefine public transit in the modern age. So I started my career in NASA. I was designing interfaces for astronauts aboard the space station. Uh, before that, they were using these old ThinkPads with Internet Explorer 6 and kind of just struggling to figure out how to run their day-to-day -day science experiments. And we redesigned it to be an iPad app that could attach their suit, float around, and figure out you know, the best way to get their day done. Uh, that was really powerful. Uh, and from there, I wanted to figure out where else I could have an impact. So I went to Atlanta and worked on the justice system, trying to figure out how do you prevent unnecessary arrests, how do you reduce racial injustice? How do you make sure low-income and minority folks are treated just as fairly as folks uh, in all other communities? At the tail end of this, uh, you know, we started talking to city planners, asking them, how do you plan out a city? Uh, we went to San Francisco. We went to Atlanta. The consistent thing we heard from all these folks is that many of these decisions would happen on paper. They'd pull out these big sheets of paper, they'd sketch out public transit, and try to ask these really hard questions of what works and what doesn't. And they had all the best of intentions, but when your tools are these sheets of paper, it's really difficult to understand you know, what is the conclusion of this idea, and it's even more difficult to convince other people that it's the right idea. This is just an example. This is one of the Excel sheets that San Francisco used to plan out their public transit. And it's powerful, but it just doesn't tell a story. If you, if you share this with the community, with the mayor, with anyone who just rides public transit, it doesn't convey an idea to them. It doesn't get that idea across. So we thought there was a better way. Uh, we asked some of these planning friends to sketch out their vision of the future. If you had the perfect tool, what would it look like? And originally, this was just a side project. We just put something together. Uh, and I think the easiest way to understand Remix is a demo. So I just want to show it to you. So here we are inside Remix. Let's see if I can get this going. And it works in any city. So I am going to start uh, by going to London. I'll create a new map. And it will create a new map in London. The first thing I'm going to do is sketch out a new bus route. So I'm just going to click along this road. And as I click, it's finding the stops. It's drawing this bus route for me really quick, really fast. On this right-hand side, I have the schedule. I have the costs, so in this case, $450,000 a year. But I also have the value. How many people does it serve? So in this case, 12,000 households, 25,000 people. You know, what is the trade-off I'm making as I design this bus route? Uh, it's Allow, it's designed to let you go into full levels of detail, so you can go over and see the individual bus stops where this route actually uh, begins and starts. You can go in and see all the statistics behind the scenes. How do we calculate these numbers? You can get more detailed demographics, so how many students can ride this, how many disabled folks. Whatever statistics you use to you know, drive your decision making, uh, it's all available to you. And the really powerful part about this is that it updates live. So as I make a change, in this case, I'll say 6 to 9 comes every five minutes, because you know, maybe there's more people that ride in the morning. Same for the afternoon. It reruns all those statistics. So now we know it costs about $750,000 a year. And so you can so quickly make these trade-offs to kind of understand what works and what doesn't. If you want, you can also visualize. So you can bring in the population layers, the household layers, whatever layers tell your story and use that as part of your decision making. So you can see which parts of London we're hitting as we sketch out this bus route. The other thing we can do is pull in the existing public transit. Uh, you know, Most transit exists already. So in this case, we're going to pull in the existing London system or a subsection of it. And as we have this, one really powerful thing we can do is system level analysis. So we can start to say, how does this all add up? And so in a second, we're going to place our friend Jane on the map. We're just going to put her up there. And as you do that, it runs this analysis of how far you could go in 15, 30, 45, and 60 minutes. And this is really your opportunity map. What's the value of public transit? It's not the fact that a bus comes to your house. It's the fact that in 60 minutes, you have this much opportunity, this much reach. 
And as you have this, you can share this with your community. Just send them a link, send them an image. They can open it up on their side and send feedback back. And so this becomes a two-way conversation about the value of public transit and what works and what doesn't. So we started this as a side project uh, about three years ago. And we put it on the internet not really expecting much. But overnight, these planners found it. They got on this one planning blog. And they started emailing us saying, oh my god, I have been dreaming about something like this for years. Please add these two dozen features as soon as you can. Uh, which you know, at the time was a little bit stressful for us, because this was just a side project. But we kept getting these emails. And you know, we basically, at some point, concluded the best path forward is to turn this into a company. And that was almost exactly three years ago. And in those three years, what we've done is take this little side project and be able to work with 250 cities in 10 different countries to redesign public transit in a really big way, including in a few Finnish cities, with hopefully Helsinki soon, fingers crossed. So I wanted to share some of the things we've done, uh, kind of the impact this is having on cities. Uh, so in Tampere, they have introduced this new tramway, or are about to introduce this new tramway. And as they do this, they want to redefine what the bus network does so that it doesn't duplicate what the tram network does. And I think the really inspiring part of this story is that they're looking at this holistically. It's not about what do the trams do. It's not about what the buses do. It's not about what the bikes do. It's about mobility as a whole. I think a theme you're going to see from, from me and from the rest of the speakers in this set is that mobility is becoming much broader than just a single mode. There's six or seven different ways to get around a city. And you as an individual need to think about that, but the local government needs to think about that as well. And so Remix lets them do that. It lets them say, hey, how far could you go on any mode that's available? The same thing's happening in the US. So this is Honolulu. They introduced a brand new uh, railway that goes up and down one of the islands. And as they did this, Again, they said, we don't need many of these buses anymore, so we can reallocate them to impact different communities. What is the best way to do that? And most importantly, what kind of reach does it provide? Who does it allow to get how far? How much opportunity is there? Turku is using this as well. They're actually going to redesign their entire transit system. This is a really cool trend that we're seeing across many cities, which is Mobility has changed so much in the last few decades, and public transit has not kept pace. And so what many cities are saying is, hey, what if we started from scratch? We know a lot more about our city. We've learned so much. If we started from the beginning, what opportunity could we offer? And so Turku is just the classic example of, of seeing this trend. Groningen in the Netherlands. Uh, this is really cool. The approach that they're taking is a very community-centered one. So they know that you know, they could obviously go design transit and implement it. But the real value is engaging in the community to create these ideas together. They know that mobility is changing. And there's many different inputs that they don't have the full, you know, they don't have the full sense of what's happening in the world. So what they're doing is they're redesigning chunks of their network. And then they're sharing these maps with the community, asking them, does this work for you? What's the impact? What does this mean for you? And one really interesting thing is they have enough data to understand which parts of their city are most impacted by public transit, and in turn, which ones they should market to. Because realizing that public transit's more than just about offering service, it's also about letting people know that service is available, uh, is like the, the kind of instincts that they've moved to. Uh, this last one is just really inspirational to me. So this is the uh, Northern Mariana Island uh, called Saipan. And they're introducing their very first transit system. They've never had public transit before. It's this island in the middle of the ocean. And with Remix, they were just inspired and said, hey, what if we you know, drew these lines out? What is the impact on the community? And the cool part about this is that it was not only an idea, not only a sketch, but they shared this with the community, and it got approved. So they won this award for a million dollars to implement public transit and redefine mobility for this island. And I think we're seeing this in many places. Places are starting to ask, what does mobility mean for us? How do we actually execute on those ideas? So as we've been doing this, uh, we have not only been building software and working with cities, but also trying to build a community. So this was our uh, annual Remix conference. And the cool part about this is that it's a chance for cities to get to know not only what they are doing, but what their peers are doing. 
What are similar cities doing? We're all going through the same challenges, so what is the best way to tackle this kind of stuff? And I guess what I want to conclude on is that we've done this conference for three years now, and every year it grows bigger. Every year the ideas grow bolder. And we're seeing this really fundamental shift in public transit where people are willing to ask these really big questions. It's no longer about how do I move this bus route off one corridor or the other. It's really these big mobility questions of am I offering opportunity to the right people in my community? I think we're going to continue to see this trend for the next decade, next two decades. And we're just glad to be able to partner with local governments because we think they play a critical role in making this happen. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, you can go to our website, remix.com, and check it out. This is my email. It's super simple, sam at remix.com. So I'd love to hear from anyone who's interested in this stuff. And uh, just was very excited to be able to present to all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs>